Hannah Callahill was brilliant. She was an active Quaker. She was active in social causes in her hometown of Bristol. Her father was one of the early purchasers, owned 5,000 acres in this new colony of Pennsylvania. And she was, in, in some ways, uh, a daddy's girl. However, she was handling finance for the family businesses and was, in many ways, Penn's intellectual equal. I've always kind of thought that when Penn was a young man and met Guliama, he was awestruck because she was stunning. She was legendary for her beauty. Hannah was equally stunning intellectually. And as an older man, that was what attracted him the most. When William becomes debilitated by strokes in 1712, Hannah has just lost her father. Her husband, the love of her life, is basically bedridden and really cannot do the business of running the colony. Hannah steps up, and for the next 14 years, from 1712 until 1726 at her death, she is, in effect, the acting governor of Pennsylvania. She's working closely with James Logan, who's over here. But she takes a colony that's on the brink of collapse. William was actually considering returning it to the crown and works through the difficulties. Logan, at that point, was about ready to resign because of his admiration for Hannah, for the strength of character that he knew that she possessed, he stays on and continues the work of building Pennsylvania.